An inline suction catheter has a clear plastic sleeve that protects the catheter from contamination. The catheter is attached to an adapter that connects directly to the trach tube and to the ventilator circuit. Use of an inline suction catheter allows the patient to be suctioned without having to disconnect the ventilator circuit. To use an inline suction catheter, start by cleaning your hands with soap and water or alcohol-based hand gel. Clean your work surface with soap and water or a disinfecting wipe. Gather the equipment and supplies you need, an inline suction catheter, non-sterile gloves, saline vials, and an assembled suction machine. Check to make sure the suction machine and supplies are correctly assembled. Put on the non-sterile gloves. Open the suction catheter package. The larger end of the attached adapter connects to the trach. The smaller end connects to the circuit. Disconnect the patient from the ventilator circuit and quickly connect the adapter to the trach tube and then the circuit to the adapter. Turn the suction machine on and check for safe suction pressure. If necessary, remove the cap from the end of the inline catheter. Connect the catheter to the suction tubing. Attach a vial of normal saline to the short tubing. Check the suction control knob and open if needed. Use one hand to stabilize the inline catheter connection at the trach tube hub. Use your other hand to advance the catheter into the trach tube to the safe suction depth. Press the suction control knob as you slowly pull the catheter out of the trach tube. Do not attempt to roll the catheter with this type of catheter. Pull to remove the catheter until the black mark on the catheter tip is completely out of the trach tube and in the adapter window. Remove your thumb from the control knob. Rinse secretions from the catheter by pressing the suction control knob while gently squeezing small amounts of normal saline into the catheter. Check if your patient needs more suctioning and repeat the suctioning steps if needed. The number of times you suction depends on your clinical assessment of the patient and the individual care plan. Rinse the catheter and suction tubing after each suctioning procedure. Close the suction control knob. Disconnect the saline vial and suction tubing from the inline catheter. Replace the blue cap on the end of the inline catheter. Turn the suction machine off. Remove your gloves and put them into the trash. And clean your hands.